know how good this is going to get it because it's night time, but it's an absolute giant smallmouth. Look at the belly on that thing. Just under five pounds. Beautiful fish. Hooked it under the gill, so hope she uh, hope she takes off okay. Good. I was worried she wasn't going to make it. That is my biggest fish of the year so far. And that's why I come out at nighttime. Got another giant in here. Hopefully, this is coming through pretty good, but just caught that big old smallmouth. I was about four and a half pounds. Now I cut a three and a half pound largemouth on the new Blade Waker from Teckle. This is the June bug, I think. It's purple not sure what the name of the color is and I got a uh, Kitek 3.8 inch uh, shad on there this thing's an absolute tank almost ripped it right out of my hands a nice mouth on that big old hog about ripped it out of my hands about third cast with the uh, blade waker all right Got another fatty, this one on the Whopper Plopper. They've been crushing the Whopper Plopper and the Blade blade Waker, the new Blade Waker by Tackle. Uh, the sun's starting to come up. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the camera on even though the footage may be kind of crappy and we'll go ahead and start the day. Another one in the same spot. Little guy, little skinny one. This is the littlest one so far. They are just crushing it. Got him. Oh. Hope that was on video. Oh, this one bigger than I thought. Dang. He is putting up a fight. God. Dude, it's like my fourth hog, dude. Today the bite is just on. Another chunk. Blade Waker is just crushing it, man. It's catching large mouth and small mouth. I think it'll probably be bait after the big ones I've been catching this morning. A big rat or a beaver or some shit. Get out of my spot. Oh, big old smallmouth. It's that smallmouth, but it feels good. Oh, he got off. It was smallmouth, too. Dang it. Got him. Whoa. Dang, he almost caught a whopper plopper to the face. That would not have been good. Dang, right away another cat. They might be schooled up over here on the shoreline. <laughs> A little rock bass. Big in. Big 
dig it. Nice one right there, big blow up. Nice fight. Got him. I heard something splash out there in the deep. Threw that popper out there. Got him, he barely hooked. Barely hooked. Get in here, buddy. Is that another smallie? Oh, yeah, another smallie. Nice little smallie. Got him on the Ned rig. Pretty slow smallmouth right there. It's going up. Oh, guys. All right, that's going to do it for the day. Uh, I got out here early, about three in the morning, and in between three and four in the morning, I caught absolute fire. I caught a four and a half pound smallmouth, just absolute tank on the Whopper Plopper 75, and then I was catching three and a half pound, three pound, and two pound uh, largemouth on this new lure right here. This is the Tekel blade waker and it looks like a chatterbait or resembles one with this metal piece in the front it's got a weighted jig head on it a skirt and a uh, weed guard I threw a 3.8 inch Kitek on there that had purple flake to go ahead and match the skirt on here and I was catching everything with a medium retrieve kind of like what you would do a spinnerbait with so I was just below the surface hopefully you can see that this is some pretty pretty clear water but that's the retrieve I was using to catch them throughout the night and then I figured out later on in the day um, you can actually retrieve it fast and it bubbles on top and as you slow it down it'll sink and pop back up to the top kind of resembling an erratic shad that's being pushed up to the shallows uh, by the bass so that's the Tekel blade waker that worked good caught a bunch on the whopper plopper too bunch of little dinks maybe one small mouth on the ned rig but overall i had a good day i hope you enjoyed this video please click the like button if you did don't forget to smash the subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything to help support the channel good luck out there fishing keep those lines tight and we'll see you next time